Chair Shot Reality, episode 340. The Reverend L. Hunt, Justin Labar here with you. We are at Point Park University, one of the beautiful studios here in downtown Pittsburgh. I want to let everybody know if you're going to be in Minneapolis this Monday for Raw, you can join me 4.30 to 6 beforehand at Karen's Irish Pub. Myself Who's and coming with Mr. You? Anderson or Kennedy, whatever one you want to use. Anderson. Uh, <laughs> we'll be there. We'll also be giving away Raw tickets. We'll be giving away tickets to Raw that night. Come on, I'm standing here. There we are. Uh, we'll be giving away tickets to Raw that night. We'll also RussellRumble.com will be giving away special entries uh, into the Hell in a Cell Pick'em. The Hell in a Cell Pick'em this year. The Hell in a Cell Pick'em to make the predictions. Grand prize, $500 and a pair of tickets to Royal Rumble. Can't you beat can't it. beat you that. Can't beat All that. for predicting Hell in a Cell correctly. If we get to the Royal Rumble, do we think that we're going to have James Ellsworth? Oh, come on, I man. am making a call right now. That whether we see James Ellsworth, whether he disappears soon and, and, and he's gone for a couple months, that James Ellsworth that will reappear at the Rumble and he will be one of those goofy final fives. He'll go under the ring and pull a Jerry Lawler or something like that. I'm calling that right now. Mark it down. Mark it down on this weekend that Labar called it. We'll, we'll replay that tape. You know what? I'm getting so sick of this whole James Ellsworth what? thing. We want to focus on Raw and SmackDown. And then all of a sudden you want to bring in a guy that's green and he's in the ring like he's yellow. I don't agree with it at all. At all. They need to get him out. Put some guys in that's believable. All right, he had his five minutes of fame. He has a WWE Shop t-shirt. That's it. It's a top Cut seller right now. Top top se se on Thursday, it was marked as a top seller. Did you get one? No. Why not? Because I'm too busy uh, 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 I'm too busy idolizing over your WWE proper knock. You mean my David Allen Look WWE? at that. Can we get a shot of this? Look at this. Let's, let's, can we Dave, we David, David Allen right proper knot over here. Right there. Right there. WWE. Si listen, sign me right now. The proper knot's there. Listen, face that runs the place. This is a real guy right here. But James Ellsworth, he is not the chin that's going to get the win, I tell you that. No chin music. No, ch no chin music. Right, well, Ellsworth, worth. is he worth it? it, it is this guy who, who's done jobs for the last couple of years, and now, and, and Renell, you, you've been in a situation not jobbing uh, to, you know, on, on Raw or SmackDown, yeah. but as some may or may not know, you oftentimes will see indie wrestlers there getting beaten down by Braun Strowman, uh, portraying security. It's extra work. You've yeah. done this before. Yeah. So you can speak. Being, uh, having been in those shoes, you go and you go to the extra work and it's long days and you got to follow days. protocol. You don't talk at, when you're not supposed to talk. No pictures. You do, no pictures. You act professional. And he finally, he's getting, he's getting a great run. You know what? I, I, give, I give him this. We, we know this. You know this as well. Perhaps your opportunity was getting uh, hit by Sandman and getting beat down. Don't but talk about that. The, the thing is this. You seize the opportunity. I admit it. They gave him the opportunity. Let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest. The guy looks weird. He has no chin. He has no chin. He looks weird. But in wrestling, you have to know how to embrace your weirdness. The Rev does it. We all do it. Justin, you do it. Some strange way of your tight leather reality check <laughs> jacket. Shoes. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, you're right. Because if, if this was you, it would work for you because you you look like you could beat James Ellsworth. So yeah. I mean, it's working for his size. That's what, what Vince obviously sees in him. But um, do you see longevity? I mean, I mean, to for be his honest, sake, did you see? No, do you no. see the options mm. that he has from WWE.com? What were they? Let me let me see. Uh, a SmackDown Live contract, another WWE World Championship match, a firm handshake from Shane McMahon, or a spot in the WWE Hall of Fame. All because Quite. he beat. AJ two times well, in a row. It's unique booking. I can't recall. I mean, that time. I mean, you know, I, I think back to when I was a, you know, I think back to the, like '95. Barry Horowitz, you know, uh, popped up and started winning, but he was winning against Chris Candido. He, I think it was. He was, winning, he was winning against when, when they were doing the Body Donna thing. I mean, you know, Barry Horowitz wasn't beating the the, the, the top guy on the card. He wasn't beating Diesel. Um, for for his sake, for James Ellsworth's sake, he should not want to get signed to a contract. And here's my thought. Keep keep getting these keep getting these this pay per basis get 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 your T-shirt get your gimmick money oh, but, because, but because then when he's not brother. because when he's not doing that on Tuesday taping t TV they're not using it at live events so he can still work the indies and he can come I mean he and I, it's like I said about he can Dolph, fight the ref it's he like can I, fight the ref it's like I've said about Dolph Ziggler if Dolph would have left you know obviously James Ellsworth is not Dolph Ziggler oh, but man. James Ellsworth could still get more he can still get more money than probably what he ever has on the indies so right now if I'm James Ellsworth. I, I, I take it from every hand what possible. Say, 15 year veteran in the business. I think he's running a, what is it, Adrenaline Championship Mar wrestling yeah. in, in Maryland. Maryland yeah. I mean, things can open up from here. If feed, I was him, I would do the same thing. Feed from, you know, get fed from every hand possible right now. But at the same time, I don't think I see him going to the WWE Hall of Fame like we can vote for. No, him but I'll tell you what, you gotta give you gotta give them credit. You gotta, you gotta give credit to him. You gotta give credit to AJ Styles. Give credit to whoever else helped put that match together. 
There was a moment, and I am I am man enough to admit it. There was a moment in that match that I hook, line, and sinker. They had me much like they had a lot of other people. Because you watch the entire crowd stand yep. up when he hit that no you chin mean music. The no, bam! When he hit the chin music. <laughs> when he hit the no chin music, and he went for that cover, I was like, no. Listen, not but often. But they timed it perfect, and you saw everybody. It was stand it was up. perfect. Not and often do you get that. The, the, everything was in sync. The referee had the nice cadence. AJ's time, the the falsity at the it was. I was like, and that was, as, that as soon was as they did, and as falsy. soon as AJ kicked out there, I'm like, okay, AJ's holding on to the title. But yep. for that 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 two and a half you seconds, I was like, they're gonna do it. Dean, because think Dean about ran it. to the ring. He's like, yeah. Because you know. think about it. They, they had uh, yeah, they had uh, what is it? What was a backlash? They had backlash yeah. a couple weeks ago, and then there's a long period of time between ba- long by today's standards from Backlash to Survivor Series when it's a joint show. So there's this long period of time. So it's like if you ever were going to do something kind of gimmicky where James Ellsworth was a champion for like one week, like a David Arquette type thing, which they referenced, this would be the time period it to do it. would be the time. All right, let's talk about, uh, so LJ Ellsworth is not going to yep. become champion. Let's talk about who is champion, AJ Styles, uh, up against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose, who I was souring on when he was champion. This yep. is tremendous stuff. This, 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 this is, is, the, this is the best Dean Ambrose. Listen, Singles I'm, Dean Ambrose. I'm, I'm saying it like this. Stone Cold told him in his own podcast. He said, listen, you have to step your game up. In, in other words, you're being complacent. You can do better than this. I really do feel like right now we're seeing a side of him that we have never seen before mm-hmm. in WWE. Now, mind you, we, we know his history. Sure. But WWE-wise, this is a side we have not seen before. I'm Singles. loving it. Outside Singles. Outside of the Shield. Right. The yes. Shield was a different yes. thing. But outside of the Shield. Yeah. Um, I, and, and it's so weird. I, it's it's weird to say that I'm in such. I'm back to having such support for Dean Ambrose. But in lieu of that, please don't win the title because I don't want. Because AJ Styles is making a great champion. Dean Ambrose is just making a good challenger. But that's where it can stay. Um, I'm, I'm. This is. I, and I'm curious. I'm trying to figure out where do they go for Survivor Series? Is James Ellsworth captain of Survivor Series? You know what? I'm honestly looking for James Ellsworth to be the special guest referee. Hey. The, you never know. The Rev booking. You never know, man. That's Booker Rev. I've heard, uh, I've heard Stranger Things. All right, we got more to come here. We're now going to return here uh, at this studio, and we're going to talk a little bit of Chris Jericho. Plus, we're going to hear from Josh Eisenberg at NXT. And then I'm hopping over across the street to the CMI studio. Josh Eisenberg going to uh, finish it off, talk about a lieu of topics, including the man they call Goldberg. Don't go anywhere.